This is your boy, JG. AB. Definitely in the building. Representing NB. It. UFC 243, is that right? That is correct. We get into it right now. We back at it again. This is your boy, uh, JG. AB in the building. UFC 243. We're only, this is a short video. We're breaking down the top two events. The middleweight joint is the craziest of them. And we got to get into it, and we have to get into the implications of it all. We have Israel Adesanya, the interim UFC middleweight champion of the world, versus Robert Whittaker. The off, Reaper. Whittaker. Coming off two tough bouts and about with uh, staff or some shit like that. The legitimate champion at 185 pounds. Very legitimate. Uh, let's get right into it. How do you see the bout breaking down and going? Oh, it's a tough one. Now, a normal occasion, I would cheer for Adesanya. Um, I'm a huge Robert Whitaker fan. Like the guy's fight style. Gets yeah, straight dude. to it. Oh, yep. Mixes up kicks and punches. There's no punk in him. There's no coward in him. All these things are facts. Um, I, I, things I are just, facts. It's hard to not like the guy, right? Uh, doesn't talk too much trash. Does what he does. Honest dude. Uh, honest dude. So it's he like it's very hard. It, I think it's gonna be one of those fights where whoever wins, I'm gonna be okay with it. I'll be a little disappointed if Adesanya loses because I know there's a lot of people that can't stand to see him win. Um, but it'll be interesting. I think the only way that there's gonna be a knockout, I, th I see it going to decision. But the only way there's gonna be a knockout is if something spectacular happens, like a weird, you know, back elbow, something spectacular. I don't see Shut a regular. You remember that? I, I don't see a regular knockout happening with these guys. I feel like it'll go to decision, and I'm gonna go decision with the champ. Robert Whitaker takes it in decision. Whoa! Yeah, no yeah. I'm way! Doing it. No I'm way! Doing it. I like the breakdown. I like the commentary on the bout. I agree. I have no beef with uh, Robert Whitaker. I have no beef. Beef, obviously, with Israel Adesanya. Shout out, Niger. Uh, you know, uh, here's my thing of it. One strike knockout power, it goes to Robert Whitaker. Not because Israel Adesanya hasn't done it, because we've seen it evidenced by uh, Robert Whitaker. Here's my prediction for the belt. And I'm going to ride the fence. I'm sorry. That's what's going to happen. I don't blame you for this one. This is really tough, man. One punch strike. What a fight. Whether it's a kick, an overhand strike, something along those lines, I'm going to give that nod to uh, Robert Whitaker. You're talking about accumulation of damage, three, four punch combination, combination TKO style stoppage. I'm giving that to uh, Israel Adesanya. Too creative, too good, too fast. Big and tall, understands the range, understands the damage. Whitaker is not a wrestler. He's not a grappler. He's not any of these. This is legitimately Thank going God. to be Whew, a stand-up striking fight. battle. And if I have to lean one direction or another, I'm leaning towards Adesanya just because of versatility and creativity but i'm not taking shit away from robert whitaker because he's tremendous and, and anyone who fights yoel romero twice and wins and wins even even if it goes a decision and you can argue it but to come out on the other side of that i'm uh, sorry either close or with victory you you are savage you are a savage You're man savage. that's just like the guy like he said doesn't wrestle and gets in there with a gold medal wrestler in uh, Romero and just b holds his own. Um, the leg kicks are going to be a problem. I know Whitaker fancies the leg kick. Um, Adesanya is a former uh, Thai, Muay Thai, so he, he should be able to block him. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But just like you said, stand up. You're going to see both these guys go home, lumps, bruises. Ooh, um, if you see the... Uh, did, I, did I do it? Yeah, that shit concerned lumps, me. <laughs> you weren't even in the battle. I was like, oh, shit. Like, lumps, <laughs> bruises. The uh, It's going to be a repeat of the Gastelum Adesanya fight. That's what I feel like. Now, I'm glad that you that. brought that up. I'm glad that you brought that up. I don't think that Robert Worker has a damaging power for Kevin Gastelum. Fair enough. Excuse me. And I feel like Adesanya was able to work through that. I think um, Ooh, Whitaker's more... Whitaker is more of a precise striker right. and doesn't waste time, energy, and effort. Hey, you know, like that one Irishman said, precision beats timing, timing beats speed. Shout out Conor McGregor. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> this is a coin flip fight. And I and I hate that terminology. I hate saying, oh, what's a toss up and blah, blah, blah. I hate that. But we're acknowledging the reality of the situation right now. Um, you want to move on to the co-main? 
Oh, the co-main, we got my boy, Brooklyn's finest, Al Ayakinta. He's selling houses. Um, yeah. da- uh, there's nothing wrong with that, kids. And I, I wasn't talking nothing shit. Wrong with that. Uh, Dan Hooker uh, from Canada um, going up against Al Ayakinta. Canuck That's a main. No, if you buck. No, if you buck. No, 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 okay. if you yeah. buck. <laughs> so, Hooker coming from Canada, Al Ayakinta. Um, like I said, same thing with Freddie Kitchens. Any man named Hooker, I'm going with him just because. So. Shout out Baker Mayfield. Done Shout deal. Out Browns. Done deal. Um, I'm go- it's like I'm going with Alakinta, man. Just too tough. Too tough for me. Anyone who survives five rounds with Khabib, sorry. You've got my uh, vote of and confidence. And then you go on and get stopped by Donald Cerrone, which is not supposed yeah, to happen. Cerrone's a killer. Um, a I got killer. Dan Hooker, the up-and-comer, the, the young cat, strong body. People don't know about. I think that fight with Donald Cerrone, with uh, Alakinta, was telling. Um, he has to revert back to his strength moves, mm-hmm. which are boxing, footwork, head movement, being gritty, and wrestling when necessary. Um, anything outside of that, you get to stop viciously. And I think he will. I, I, I like Hooker's fight style, uh, more like a point fighting, staying on the outside, using his range, very lanky guy. Um, but I think he's gritty, man, and I got akin to winning this. He knows he's in that crossroads, he's in that weird Kevin Lee space where I don't know what the that's, hell happened that's to that guy. That's thing. that's I don't know. You have to figure <laughs> out: Am I gonna be a contender or a pretender? Where I'm gonna have to go do what Lee's doing, switching weight classes that's, that's and all this a, that's weird a stuff. Segment. Contender or pretender? Oh, hey. contender pretender coming up. That's coming next. Stop playing I'm with us, man. Um, we got a heavyweight scrap. Uh, Tai Puivasa, as you guys might not know, uh, he's a New Zealander, the guy that drinks out of the shoe. Put yep. beer and the spits in it. And totally disgusting. Yes. It, I, it's a custom. You can't call it disgusting. I will call it someone disgusting. else's custom. That's a foot. He, for those of you that don't know, shoe. he takes a, he takes a random stranger's shoe. Why? So you? he'll be like, "Hey, Joe Rogan, give me your shoe." So Puts you've been battling a tough scaling and then uh, athlete's it. foot infection, and <sighs> so now I'm drinking that. Okay, so what'd you have? Who's the next? So one? he he is fighting Sergey Spivak. Polar I picked, bear. I, I picked that guy. You pick the guy from Poland, Sergey Spivak, with a nine and one record. Yep, him. I pick him. Um, I'm gonna go with Tai Tuivasa because, if, yeah, like I said, if you're because drinking, he doesn't care about anything. Yes, exactly. exactly. If you're just drinking you random people's shoes, yeah. I think that you're looking forward to that celebration so much you have to win. You're knocking because if you try drinking my shoe after you got now, knocked here's out, the thing. We have a I will pour my beer into my shoe and have you drink it. But if you try to like reciprocate or have me do it. Yeah, absolutely. Not. I'm pouring it right <laughs> onto the fucking ground. Oh well, that's very absolutely. kind of you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Tui Vasa, he's got knockout power. Big New Zealander. I really only think he's on this card because it's in New Zealand, right? Yes. Yes. So yes, I, yes. I think that's one of the main reasons he's in this card. Uh, then the rest of the fights, uh, Holly Holm got canceled. That would have been the she's third a, biggest fight. I guess she's a bum anyway, Raquel Pennington. So she got uh, off easy. She's like the female version of Tomato Can. What would you call that? Tomato can. Would it be so? Tomato can is unisex. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, there you have Gender it. Gender binary. We get Gender it. binary. We believe in that here at E and E. Um, Diego Lima versus Luke Jim. Wow. Diego Lima. I think he's from Black Zillions. I remember watching him in the Ultimate. Yeah, I can't believe he's still in there. Yeah, we don't care. So I'm actually that, surprised that he's getting this deep into the car. Well, I mean, you. I'm trying to like justify why would you spend seventy dollars. Um. If you're not in New Zealand, out of sudden you're Whitaker. But then you have to sit through. Well, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Uh, uh, I was gonna tell a lie, but I'm not gonna do it. Listen, guys, uh, 243, UFC 243. Mm-hmm. Israel Adesanya, Robert Whitaker, UFC middleweight. Essentially, it's a unification or consolidation bout. Who is the best of the best? Yeah, don't call it consolidation. I will not allow you to call it consolidation. No, no. This Adesanya is a stud. He did what he did to beat the guy, Kevin Gastelum. That's not a belt. I'm sorry. The UFC hand these things out like candy these so days. That, we, no. Whitaker has the real belt. Okay. Period. Uh, this will be a championship fight. He's the challenger. Whitaker's the champion. We're not going with Dana White's rules, man. This is, this guy deserves the championship title. Okay, I'm not consolidating. Just so, just so everyone knows, I'm not arguing. Okay. He felt I don't strongly know why about that, it. But yeah, I will. Um, I'm good with that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I figured you would be. Yep. All right, great. This is your boy JG. A B C 243. You guys Come make sure on. you check it out this Saturday, whatever the date is. Uh, mm-hmm. Saturday I got, the fifth. I got a phone call coming in. Uh, this is your boy JG. Like I said, A B exaggeration experience. We out.